On Friday, the 7th of April 2017, the Orangia Bowling Club in Bloemfontein was a hive of activity. On this day, the club hosted the finals of three separate youth tournaments presented by Bowl South Africa. These included the Under-15 and Under-20 National Championships sponsored by the Department of Sport and Recreation, as well as the Under-30 Inter-District Championships sponsored by Warwick Wealth. The tournaments commenced on Tuesday the 4th of April, drawing 74 teams from all over South Africa. During the championships, a total number of 310 young bowlers were provided the opportunity to test their abilities against the best in South Africa. The fact that an under-15 championship had to be included for the first time this year, while the 2017 tournaments also attracted the largest number of young bowlers ever to participate in these national championships, indicate that the transformation and development initiatives of Bowl South Africa and its dedicated officials and members are having a significant impact on this increasingly popular sport. Well, I started playing bowls last year in December and I got introduced to bowls by Mem Dai who is part of the Davos School of Bowling Club and so in December they always have the camp each year and so I got to go there and, and learn how to play bowls and it, I liked it, I really loved it. Bowls is now recognized as a sport in many schools, while opportunities for young players to compete at a high level are ever increasing. For example, the Protea team to represent South Africa in the 2022 Commonwealth Games could include some of the current under-15 and under-20 players. A number of years ago, Bowls South Africa acknowledged that bowls were still a relatively unknown sport among the youth. However, through their continuous efforts and the enthusiasm of the new generation of young players, the perception that bowls is only a recreational activity for pensioners from privileged communities has been changed forever. I started playing the sport um, two years ago. Actually, it's my second time being here. And I think with playing the sport, generally, before I played, I thought it was a white sport. Actually, it was for old white people. Having come and played, I've actually realized that it's for young people. It's a game you can play till your last breath, literally. I do find though that when I speak to people my age, they usually say, oh, we'll see, are you crazy? Why would you play that kind of sport? And then I just think to myself, if only they knew. I think once you roll the first one or the second one, you hooked. What is also not commonly known amongst the general public is that bowls is actually a demanding sport requiring dedication, team effort, mathematical skills, strategic thinking and intense concentration. Attributes that play a critical role in the development of young minds. Add that to the obvious health benefits of taking part in a non-contact sport and you have a winning formula. The sport is nice, you meet a lot, a lot of nice people. You go places you've never been before and it's fun. Keep you fit, keep you focused, yeah. Firstly for me, bowls is not just a sport. It's also an art which you can use strategic ways of winning. It also teaches you self-discipline in a lot of ways. Not only at school but at home as well. But on the greens as well, between other, other teams. So yeah, bowls is, is an amazing sport. It helped me with concentration, not just in the bowling green, but at school academically as well. Um, I think bowls is something very different to other sports. Um, I've played many sports at very high levels, and I can tell you now that bowls is probably one of the most challenging sports I've ever played. Um, it's a lot of fun, it's very social, but at the same time it's, um, it requires physical and mental abilities and the camaraderie and the friendship amongst your team and your opponents is unlike any other sport out there. And I think it, overall it's just a great sport. Furthermore, bowls is a sport for people of all ages, genders and walks of life. You can never be too young, too old or too anything to play bowls. The nature of the sport especially allows for participation by people with impaired physical ability. Well, my disability affects me a lot in a lot of ways. Like, I can't play certain sports like rugby, hockey, tennis, but sports like swimming and bowls, I can play. And that's a big advantage of me and that's a very good thing because I can 
I can gain knowledge of different sports like these. I can um, I can't play rugby and cricket because I'm too slow and because my leg keeps me down. But both it's very nice because my leg I can um, walk very nice and slow. During the final rounds of the three tournaments, there was a sense of excitement in the air, with managers, parents and supporters cheering their teams on. Notwithstanding the nail-biting atmosphere, players displayed the characteristics that makes bowl such an ideal sport for young people. A positive team spirit, good sportsmanship, courtesy towards others and discipline. In the final of the Under-15 National Championship, Western Province won gold and the Johannesburg Bowling Association silver. Thereafter, Eden B from George took the gold medal and Natal Inland bowls A the silver in the Under-20 National Championship. Finally, Port Natal A won gold and KwaZulu Natal A silver in the Under-30 Inter-District Championship. The event concluded with a ceremony during which the teams that made it through to the finals received medals in recognition of their achievements. The Department of Sport sponsors this uh, tournament, so we, we are very, very grateful to them and to make it accommodating to everybody. We come to the middle of the country where everybody's got more or less the same distance to travel, but Bloemfontein has always accommodated us. Bloemfontein has hosted this tournament for many, many years and we trust that we are going to be able to bring it back again next year and we look forward to seeing an even bigger growth and welcome any, any children, any children where they've been playing for six months or six years, 20 years, we, we accept them here and we look forward to having them back in Bloemfontein next year. The 2017 Junior Bowls Championships confirmed that bowls as a sport is going places simply because players and administrators are willing to give of their time and energy in developing a new generation of young, talented bowlers. Bowls SA, developing tomorrow's champions today. Let's get it rolling.